taking two strands and wrapping it around it itself with the right product creates this curl pattern. For hairstylist April um, Martinborough, a day at her salon in Dunmore, Real by Nature, means helping her clients express themselves. I am a natural hairstylist. I am a natural hair stylist advocate, even. Martin Burrow, who also goes by real, knows her look and the way she styles her hair and her client's hair may be considered different, but it's not a reason for discrimination. Hair is a part of your identity. It's a huge part of your identity. Being able to express yourself or to come and go as you please, I think it's highly important for you to be accepted in all spaces. This curl is gonna last her all week, so she won't have to manipulate her hair again for the rest of the week. April says it's unfortunate that there has to be an effort like the Crown Act to combat hair discrimination. I think that it's um, kind of sad that it even has to be a legislation um, for that. But she understands the need. It's important for people to feel comfortable in their own skin in every environment that they're in, school, work and outdoors just recreationally wherever they go. Remembering the cutting feeling when as a student she was told her hair was problematic. I was new to Pennsylvania from New York and you know I wore a, a weave extensions that were blue and black and I was told that my hair would um, distract the other students. How did that make you feel? Um, like I don't belong, um, like I'm strange for being creative. Um, yeah, I question myself because um, obviously the school is an authoritative over my life right now. Um, and so if they're telling me that there's something wrong, then there is. April says that moment made her dig deep and come up with ways to turn her passion for creativity into a profession. But I saw the bigger picture. I saw how important it was for me to get my cosmetology license, and I knew how hungry and thirsty I was for knowledge. Um, so I was willing to seek it outside of school um, and, and be the person that, like on purpose, I provide these services for this area. Now, whether it's locks, braids, twists, or silk presses, April's natural styles are turning heads and hearts toward a freedom of expression. Tahira Muhammad is proof. I would blow dry it, I would flat iron it to get it as straight as possible, put it in a ponytail, I'd call it the day. I realized I can do natural hairstyles, I can love my hair for what it is, and honestly, everyone should. And I love to promote uh, uh, people feeling comfortable in their own skin and, and natural hair, so that's what I like to do. A crowning achievement for April, who hopes one day all hair and hairstyles will be appreciated and respected. As of July 1st, 25 states have passed legislation surrounding the Crown Act, including four states that border Pennsylvania. Here in the Commonwealth, a bill has passed in the state house, but it has not yet come up for a vote in the state Senate.